So I filmed this video a week ago and I had the intention of uploading it over the weekend, but then I spent that weekend in an airport on constant delays with a broken hard drive. Then I was in Nashville for a few days with said broken hard drive. And now I am moved into my parents' ranch and I've decided that I'm still just gonna upload it because I'm not able to film anything this week regarding a cash envelope stuffing because I didn't work. Refer back to the whole spending a week in Nashville. But here's the video, so enjoy. Am I wearing a full workout outfit? Yes. Am I gonna be working out today? Mm, no, but I am gonna be sweating over this week's budget. Here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name is Quinn, it's very nice to meet you. I am 23 years old and as of today, I no longer have jobs. I know that sounds very confusing and very just like, what? If you're really new here, you're gonna be like, what? There's just so much going on. I'm trying to figure out how to explain it like shortly and concisely if anyone is actually new. Basically, this month is the month that's starting off a bunch of brand new things here for me. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a previously on little segment here for anybody that is new and doesn't know what's going on. If you're not new and you're all caught up and you're like been there, done that, heard it, not going back, I'll put down the time below of what time the cash envelopes is actually going to be starting so you can go ahead and jump ahead to that. But hello, hi, welcome, welcome to my place, come on in. So like I said, I am 23, previously I worked three different jobs, two jobs, however you looked at it, I got three different paychecks in and today I just clocked out of my last job for the last shift that I'm going to be working here in San Diego because I'm going to be moving back in with my parents they live on a ranch because I'm getting married in a few months, your girl is engaged. And we are gonna be getting married on my parents' ranch. I have a vlog where I kind of went through and showed you guys the land. So we're building the venue from the ground up. So that's part of why I'm moving back in with my family to help build the venue. They have a lot of things going on. I might as well help take on my own things that's happening there for them. Also to spend as much time with them as I can because once I get married, I am moving across the country to Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm gonna be driving across the entire way there. So I wanna be able to spend as much time with my family as I can because I'm probably not gonna be able to fly out here all too often. I am going to be working for my family once I move out there for them as well. So that's going to be part of how I make some money the next few months while I'm living with them. When it comes to living in Nashville, I don't know what jobs I'm going to be working at, but I'm going to be focusing on doing some freelance stuff. If you have some time, you can watch my 2020 financial goals video where I really talk about not just financial goals, but basically everything that's happening in the first half of the year for me. So the jobs that I previously had up until today was in the food service industry, so I make paychecks, also cash tips from there. Last week, I got paid from one of my jobs. The other jobs still need to pay me. I picked up one of those paychecks this week and I talked to my other boss where apparently she just had forgotten to put me on payroll. So next week I'll be getting even more money. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> so we're gonna be stuffing my cash tips along with that last paycheck that I got. Currently I'm really focusing on growing my savings account to fund that entire drive across the country that's gonna be happening because gas for that amount is gonna be a lot. <laughs> and then also while I'm in Nashville trying to figure out jobs, I'm gonna be needing to pay bills, so yay savings. And yes, I think we're all caught up. For everybody who skipped ahead, welcome back. We're gonna get right into the cash envelope stuffing here for you guys, so grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have some water, your girl is doing so good with that hydration. <laughs> and let's just get right into the video. All right, so getting into everything here, this is the bullet journal that I love to use. It is a Scribbles That Matter. I had gotten it off of Amazon. And the pen that I'm absolutely in love with is this Pilot G2.05. As you can see, the <laughs> ink is getting low, which is really sad. So just getting into everything here, it is like six o'clock outside right now, so it's pitch black, so I have lamp on. But I decided to change up some spreads for this month. Um, I have filmed my bullet journal like setting up video, so that should be out next week. <laughs> but I'm changing it up a little bit here. I'm deciding to do a full spread with my cash envelopes this month. Do you want to see how that works? See if it works out well for me this month. Because a lot of things are changing, so might as well change this along with it. <laughs> so let's get y'all all zoomed in so you can see what I'm writing. Okay, so how everything is normally all set up here is that I have my paychecks paid for some bills and then my cash tips that I make pay for weekly spending along with some sinking funds. So for my paycheck, I have pulled out $320. Normally, I would not have a paycheck this week, but because I went and picked up that one from the other job, I ended up having a paycheck. My ATM only allows me to pull out denominations of 20, so that's why we just have a round number right there. So the first bills that are coming up this next month is gonna be my car insurance, which gets $200. 
and subscriptions, which gets 70. Now normally, the first thing that I do when I get a paycheck is I put 10% of it into saving. It's really simple. You just move the decimal over one place and then that's your 10%. But since I already knew I was going to have some money left over, I ended up not doing that because everything else is just going to get put into savings right now. Like I said earlier, with my cash envelopes, working on growing my emergency fund to help fund the move across the country, also fund when I don't have the first paychecks in but I still have bills coming out. I have my emergency fund to help pay for that. Okay, and then on to my tips here. I'm going to get you guys all zoomed out so we can see what I am writing here for that. Okay, so for my cash tips, I keep everything here in this handy dandy little box. I know last week I said, oh, I'm going to link down a box that I found on Amazon similar to this, and then I completely forgot to link it. My bad, you guys. Somebody did end up finding a box really similar to it on Amazon that was, if anything, a lot better than the one that I had found. Um, so I'm going to see, I'm saying this now, Edit and Quinn, go and find that link and put it down in the description so people can find it. This is a box I got in fifth grade, which is why I have no idea where it's from. The handle's even missing. So um, this is just really great to hide away my cash tips during the week. So that way I'm not like spending it <laughs> or anything. And it also fits all my cash envelopes really nicely into it here. So I have this right here. And then this is also my serving bag that I keep in my apron. Got it from Ipsy. And this is cash tips that I made the other night. Uh, which was my last serving shift, so it was really nice to be able to walk away with that much. And then I have my coins in here, which I just keep all my coins in this giant arrowhead bottle. And I am saving coins for when I'm ready to get a dog. So that way I can go ahead and be the best dog mommy ever. Okay, time for counting money therapy time. I should create like a little tune jingle graphic thing to go across the screen when it's like, I'm counting money, time to talk about my life. But basically, yeah, so, oh my goodness, so going up to my parents, I'm really excited, so tomorrow, I'm filming this on Friday night, normally I would film this on Saturday mornings, but obviously today was my last day, and I was doing the admin position, so I didn't work any, um, get anything with cash tips, but I leave tomorrow to go to Nashville to go and hang out with Brian for a week before coming back and living with my parents. So I'm really excited to go check out Nashville because I've never been there before and I'm gonna be living there like for a good chunk of the next several years. So if you guys live in Nashville and you have like any cool spots that you suggest I should go hang out, I think um, he lives in like East Nashville. So anything around that area, go ahead and let me know in the comments anything we should check out. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 61, 161. It was so funny, last week, you guys have seen it, <laughs> last week I ended up walking out with like a lot more money in tips, which was... That was shocking, amazing, and I, it was so funny reading the comments because I haven't been able to respond to them yet, but I read every single one of them and people being like, oh my gosh, you make that much money every week, so you make like a thousand dollars with your paychecks and every blah, blah, blah every week, and then people just straight up being like, no, she's broke. <laughs> like, they're like, I'm just like, no, this is, this is called inconsistent cash envelopes because like it's really inconsistent. She's never made this much before. And I'm like, thank you for understanding I'm broke. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in here so we can uh, see what I'm writing down. Okay, so for allocating all this money here, for gas, I'm still gonna put $70 here because I will be driving back up to my parents, which is like a three to four hour drive. So I'll be needing that gas money to go and fund that, even though I'm not driving this week, that's just basically all gonna be used in one day. Food, I'm still going to put the 50 in there because although when I go out to Nashville, I know Brian's going to be cooking for me, which is slightly concerning, <laughs> but it's also very interesting because uh, he normally hates cooking, but ever since he's now going to be getting your girl an Asian wife, um, he's trying to learn how to make like stir fry and fried rice, and I'm like, that's so sweet. Like, I'm slightly the wrong flavor of Asian there, but yeah, I mean, I still appreciate it and I love it, so he's going to be cooking for me, but I still want to be able to treat him to like a dinner, you know, <laughs> and then also the food while I'm on that little three hour road trip. Toiletries is going to still get $10. Car maintenance is going to get its 25 And then I'm not going to put anything in my self gifts this week, but I'm going to put everything that's left, which I think is just $6 into my February gifts. 
I basically already bought my Valentine's Day gifts and everything already. And then next is just my brother's birthday, my mom's birthday, and then my soon-to-be nephew that's going to be coming in. I'm really excited. So I'm going to get everything looking all pretty here for you guys. And then we'll be right back to stuff some cash. Ta-da! Okay, so as normal, I have my paycheck here on the left, my cash chips on the right. Keep them separated because your girl does her math wrong a lot, and this way I know what's supposed to go to what when I do. So getting started with everything here, my car insurance, which is still <laughs> this janky envelope that I still have, but you know, it's cheap. 50, 100, 50, 200. And I guess I didn't make or I've misplaced or lost because it was a janky envelope, my subscriptions envelope. But since I have everything packed away right now, I can't like make a new one and pull out my little box of little envelopes here. So I'm just gonna put everything basically off to the side. Um, Cause everything is just basically gonna go back into my emergency fund and then pulled out from there. So I'm just gonna put everything in here. Um, I don't wanna make it too confusing for myself. So we're gonna do this. This is what we're gonna do. Take out 20, 5, 10, 15, Mmm, 20. Yeah, I don't need 25s. 5, 10, 15, 20. I need to pull 40, 50. So this is going into my emergency fund. And then everything else is just going into my checking account. 20, 40, 60, 5, 70 for, with my, for my subscriptions. And I'll put that in there with my car insurance money so that way like everything just goes in at once and I know that this is going to pay some bills right away. Then emergency fund money right here. So on to the weekly spending which again this is just what I spend in a week this isn't in a month I wish I could spend only $70 in a month on gas. Um, so $70 for gas, 20, 40, 60, 50, 60, 70, 50 dollars on food Ooh, still always just have that dollar left 20 40 oh no i have yes okay okay 20 40 five. Oh my gosh no because i was looking at the 20 i was like oh no i don't need a 20 but i do it's for my cart medians we're good okay 20 40 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 50 Maybe some ones to get, leave some tips. There's always you're always out with people and they're like, oh my gosh, do you have like a couple dollars to leave a tip? Feels good to people. Like, yeah, here you go. Here's some cash. Cool. Food, food. Toiletries is gonna get its ten, which I have ten in there right now. So I didn't spend it last week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Car maintenance gets 25, so 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20, 40, 60, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 120. So definitely going to use all of this. <laughs> Maybe not all of this, most of it. A good chunk of it to go and get my oil changed. Either before or after I drive up to my parents, I know my dad would like to just do it at home and it'll be fine. So hopefully I won't need to get an oil change before then. It will be good. And then everything else just goes to my February gifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, cool. Still have that crisp hundred in here. From, I think that was last week that I put it in there. Awesome. Okay, so there's now 106 in here for my February gifts. And yeah, that's going to do it here. All right, so that's going to do it for my cash envelope stuffing video here for you guys today. I'm currently in the middle of editing a pretty hefty vlog of following me through a week of working three jobs. So if you have any questions about how I was able to do that, go ahead and watch it. Hopefully it's up. Hopefully I finished it before I'm putting this video out here for you. Let me know if there are any other type of vlogs that you guys want to see, any other type of content that you want me to put out here for you guys. Once I go up and move on to the ranch, I'm going to be making a lot more wedding series content for you guys as well to kind of like tie in everything that's going on because that is what's going on in my brain at all times. I had a talk with my wedding coordinator the other day. Pretty good talk. 
really excited, exciting things happening. I think that's actually just going to be it for the video, so I hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, go ahead and subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media, at Quinn Kaylin here. We can chat, you can DM me, we can become best friends, you can see everything that's happening because I put a lot of stuff on my Instagram story all the time. It's mostly food, I like to eat. Also send me pictures of your dogs because I want to start doing dogs of the week. They could be dogs that you own or maybe if you know a dog that needs to be adopted, let me know and I can post it up here and be like, hey, share some love, take it home. Love your, love pets, love dogs, I don't know. <laughs> I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye! We take it back to prehistoric times when dinosaurs ruled the world. That's how I feel with these bands in my teeth right now. Yes, I was a roar kid in middle school.